Hey, what's up everyone? Straight here, and today I am here with another Seed Spotlight. So, alright, first, the, of course you want to be on creative mode, general structures are on, world type default, and this seed, I can't even believe that's down, there's like so much to it, it's A1, it's a uh, 181, 624, 1179, and you can hit enter. Alright, so there are some great, this is just great world generation all together. It's spawning in the forest biome, which I already love. And then, there's a really cool NPC village, right there. I find it very funny, what it actually is. Because, it, it's like Venice, and, like, look, look at this. There's just water inside the village, it's like, in Venice, it's an entrance. Wow. But, <laughs> It's just like Venice, because in Venice, um, between each house, there's always, like, water canals that you have to, uh, like, row your boat through and whatever, and that's just kind of, like, all around here, and I, I like that. It's, like, scattered everywhere, and I think it just makes it, like, it gives the village a cool feel. Very, it's, like, it's different from anything that you'll normally see. So, also, down here, I think, hold on, if I go through here, let's see. I guess there might be a cavern through here. I don't know. Let me see, I didn't actually check this out. Yeah, there's a cavern. Oh my goodness. Well. <laughs> wow. Okay, never mind. Let's just check this blacksmith now. Because this has a good find. Now, you might want to use this for a multiplayer seed. Because look, there's two iron chest plates, which is amazing. Then you have five iron ingots, which you could use to make a health or boots. I mean, not, well, you already have boots, I'm sorry. You used to make a helmet, which that's probably all I'd use it for, because then you have an iron pick right here. That means no wood tools. You go right in, mine stone, make a stone axe, get some wood, and uh, you'll never need to make a wood pickaxe. And then you have a good source of food right here, two apples, and then if you really wanted to, I guess you could, like, plant saplings around here, because it is in a plains biome. So if you want to, you can plant saplings. Uh, yeah. So, now, let's hope I can find this again, because I kind of flew around aimlessly last time and just found great generation. Now, here we are in a swamp biome, and I am going to, uh, I'm sorry, that's a phone ringing, so, hold on. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, but I just have this case, whatever. Uh, there's a good amount of sugar cane around here, I'm seeing. So... Now, what I was looking for, I'm looking for red mushrooms, and there they are right there. Because, usually I never see any red mushrooms in a swamp biome, and look at this. Amazing amount of red mushrooms. So, the coordinates of this are X229, Y64, and Z530. And then, of course, you have your red mushrooms right here, so all you gotta do, kill some skeletons, get some bone meal, get some wood, and then you can have a, a nice little farm for your mushrooms, and then have an infinite supply of food, because it's mushrooms too. So, yeah. Now, there are a couple of mountain biomes around here. I want to see if I can find them. I will be back when I get close to them, and I'll give you the coordinates then. I just wanted to note this. I found this really cool thing in the plant biome. Look at this. It, like, it's very strange. You just like go down like you're in this like little grass cavern kind of thing. Oh, I think that's pretty cool. And uh, the coordinates, I'll just give you our uh, estimates. X655, Y81, and Z670. So now I'll be right back. Okay, so I just wanted to let you know that right here, I have this tiny bit over here. Not that good. I don't know. I thought it looked pretty cool. But it just, I like this because you can walk like right into the uh, desert biome. I like that. So, if you wanted to know, the coordinates are x725, uh, y, well, you don't need the y, z390. So now, on to the mountain biome that I finally found. Yay! Um. This might have been the one that I was thinking about, I don't know, but there's a lot of mountain vibes here. And uh, I like this overhang. And you guys know that I like bays, so you can make a mountain base, make a bay here, I don't know if you wanted to. And then, I think this will go out into the ocean. 
It's just like a lot of. It's like a lake. Not doing it onto the ocean, but. Uh, I could go out into it right here. To this big lake. And, uh. I, don't know. I do like how this looks. Look at this floating mountain piece. Hello. I just feel like it's just like pop right in my face. Just like, oh, hello. I'm right here. Hi. How's your day? <laughs> okay. Uh, I like, I love when these uh, water spawns flow into the water. Just, I just love when that happens. I like the generation around here right now. It looks pretty nice. And uh, now we're getting into the bigger, the, the thicket of the mountain bottom. Now, I'm fly. Now look at this. Look at this cool thing. I like how this looks. It's very strange, but it looks nice. And then this goes right up here. And scary noises, not a fan. <laughs> so, I like how this looks. It's like a big pit down into like darkness. It looks pretty cool. And then I'm guessing mob is spawning right now. I don't know how you're talking But, uh, yeah, that's cool. And now, I just like the overall generation. I just. I really need to put the seat out because I just love this. It's just like I need to do like a let's play on this or something because like to just the generation to make like a big mountain base or something and just have everything be amazing. <laughs> then tiger biome over there, which uh not the not my favorite biome. <laughs> and then there is one more mountain biome, which I don't know where it is, but let's look at this uh. Nice forest biome. I love when rivers split biomes. I just think that looks amazing. And now we have this nice hill right here. I love the hills of the forest biomes. They're just like... I don't know. I, just lo I love how it looks. Um, hmm. I, I think here's the mountain biome. It might start getting... Yep, there it is. Okay. Look at the lava and the piggies. Hello. Hello, piggies. Would you like to say something to the cameras? Would you like to? No? No, okay. Um, I guess he's a little camera shy. That makes sense. He's a pig. He's never seen cameras. So, here's a jungle biome. And, uh, yeah, jungle biome. <laughs> and now, what's this? I don't think I've seen this. Mount bound, but it's a weird one. That's very strange. Hmm, anything else? Because. Ah, uh, what good one's right here? Lighting errors. How dare you? Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I could go on forever with this spotlight. Like, look, look at this. It's Mount Bound. Again, like, it just keeps going on. And it's just like amazing generation. Oh, whoa. Well, I didn't I didn't see that. Whoa, is that an overhead again? Yeah. Ooh, pumpkins. That's cool. Oh my goodness. Whoa. It's like a Oh wait. Was I just yeah, I was just here. Except Wow, that's very that's cool. Look at this. Oh I Okay, look at that. Look at that coolness. Another cool generation. I, I like I said, I love this. Let's uh, oops. press the wrong buttons at the time. Alright, let's do that. And now let's go to this mountain biome over here. I think it's all the same mountain biome, but I don't know. They're just like a flat land kind of, and then it starts up again. I just like this generation. It just amazes me. Um. Oh, well. Let's flow in with some water. What? I didn't fix it. No. Fix. Yeah, there we go. That's better. And this is a cool little cavern. Not doesn't it's not very little actually. Pretty big. I just I like when caverns have like a big entrance and stuff. That's exactly what this is. And now look at this. This looks I don't know. That looks like a stalag mitre type. I don't know the difference. Wish I did. Whatever. 
but it looks like one of them. I think the slight height is the one on the ceiling. I'm pretty sure. Um, I did find a spider spawner. I'm going to put that out there. Don't remember where it is though, and I'm kind of getting mad right now because I think it's in this biome. I feel like it's in this one. I don't think it's in there. It's like it's almost exposed. It's like so close to being exposed. I didn't have to dig to get to it, but it's like in the mountain, basically. If I can find it, I will show you what I'm talking about. Uh, darn it! Ugh. Really? Where is it? Is it in here? Hello, spiders. Spider, spider. Thanks a lot. Come on. Where are you? Oh, it's not in there. Um. It's in this mountain biome. I think. Like, oh, my dog. He's. Hold on. Alright, guys, I'm back. And, like I said, this seed is massive with everything that's in it. And, right in the jungle biome over here. Uh, right over here, I'll give you the coordinates once I'm actually in the place. I found something amazing. Okay, so right here you have a ravine right under this, uh, like it's, it's almost completely blocked off except for a little tiny air socket. Right here, I, I like, I love that. And then there's like a bush in here which is pretty fine. I wanna see if there's any like ores around here. Whoa, this goes far. Whoa. It's a lot farther than I expected and then it just breaks off into a cavern. Which is cool. And then, oh, and then there's some endermen. And then look at this. Breaks into another ravine. It's an abandoned mine. Completely inside of it. Like, now, what I should probably do is look for the melon seed chest that I always love finding. But last seed spot, like you um, know that I did not find it. <laughs> so, that's. And oh, there's so much lava, it's like all burning and stuff. I really want to find it. And just a fun fact about this, I found the seed. Some, uh, I typed in the wrong seed when I was doing um, the other seed spotlight, like the one, uh, episode one. I typed in the wrong seed, which was pretty stupid. Like, what I did was the first seed was actually like a long list of uh, certain like letters and I messed up those letters and uh, that got me this seed which is even better so that's awesome and uh, like I said I'm gonna have to do less one in this series this on this out uh, the seed it's amazing look this man in mine <gasps> just <gasps> yes melon seeds Okay, nice. If you oh, and then there's a skeleton. Oh yes, skeleton. Not really though. Uh, okay, the coordinates of this are x 203, y 28, and z negative 594. So there are your melon seeds and some lapis and some redstone if you like. And um, you know what? Just for the like time reasons, I'm gonna end this spotlight here. Uh, if there's anything else that you'd like me to know about this seed, please um, leave it in the comments. Maybe message me, leave it on my channel, something like that. Just um, make sure I know because this is a very amazing seed, and sorry I could not find that uh, spider spawner before. But um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, favorite, do anything that you can support me, and um, I will see you guys later. Bye. Before I go, it actually seems like that ravine, the one with the abandoned mine, it splits off into a third one. Which is pretty fine. There's like a completely lava infested ravine with water flowing on the sides. And uh <laughs> that's funny that this actually does that. So you have you have this. This is a great seed. I really recommend uh playing on this. I've never I haven't seen such a good seed in uh, this version. So uh, yeah, thank you and bye.